Hey yo, what's good? What's poppin'? What's happening with you all? It's your boy Gold Phoenix in the flesh. Rise from the ashes and be blessed. I said the wrong intro, but you know what it is. Listen up. I'm on I-70 West. Riding through Kansas right now. Big boring. It's terrible out here. This is by far my least favorite state. Now, when I'm driving, I visualize everything as a big loading screen. When I know what revenue I'm gonna get off a certain load, I basically visualize myself on a loading screen like a video game. I start from point A, and I'm spawning at point B with X amount of dollars in my pocket afterwards, you know? And that's what keeps me sane going through certain areas. But Kansas, Kansas is one of those states that practically puts me to sleep every time I have to come. It's flat, it's long, it's boring. I have been all over this country. I've touched all 48 states. Kansas forever messes with me mentally just because it is unbelievable that people actually live out here. For what, why? But that's their business, I don't care. Uh, I figured I'd give you guys a little nighttime point of view video type so you can see the gauges and you know the radar, all this stuff that's in front of me and the road and the headlights and all that. Let me know what y'all think about it. You know, I switched those headlights out to some LEDs I bought off of Amazon uh, a little while ago. The fog lights are on. That's with them off. I usually keep them on because, you know, whatever I like to see and most people out here they consider it with the high beams anyway, so I don't care, but that's not what I wanted to talk about. I wanted to talk about what it's like, or what it's been like for me to quit vaping, quit nicotine. We'll, we'll just put it that way because, you know, you can derive nicotine from pretty much anything as far, you know, cigarettes, a vape, you know, that type of stuff, patches, gum, all that, right? It's been a, a good month for me since the last time I, I smoked at all, right? So far, one, I feel better as of now compared to when I was, when I had stopped. I feel a million times better. I can breathe better, which is, I didn't even realize my breathing was messed up until my sister said something. I didn't know. Cause you know, like she noticed when she heard me asleep and it wasn't like a, a snoring type of sound here. It was like my throat was trying to clear something tight, whatever. I don't know what she was talking about. All I know is it kind of spooked me. I'm like, I could die in my sleep, <laughs> you know? That's what made me want to quit. So, you gotta decide, the first week that I wasn't smoking, I hated life. I wanted to fight people, okay? I was feeling, you know, in my emotions, like tight, you know, insane. Now, of course, I'm with, I was in Las Vegas, you know, and I was with my dad and my sister. So, of course, I gotta, you know, have some level of self-control and, and put these mental shackles on and not explode, which I didn't, thank God, but I wanted to. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm on the phone with my friends when I'm not around them. I'm just cursing up the storm. I'm mad. I'm angry, right? lasted seven days roughly so one week right the second week was when I went back to work okay I got my truck I deadheaded or bobtail whatever you want to call it bobtail all the way down to Phoenix Arizona to get a load going up to Hermiston Oregon right now I'm fighting an oral fixation right so I'm sitting there, I'm driving, like I see right now. And if you guys remember, I used to like, well, when I would do videos, my vape was pretty much always in my head because I was constantly hitting the thing. But most of the time, it'd be sitting up here with my wallet and stuff like that. I was reaching for it. I was constantly reaching and nothing was there. And that was messing with me. Again, about a week, kept messing with me. I kept reaching for it. I kept, I craved it. I craved the nicotine. I did. Totally did. But I tell y'all, nicotine was one of my biggest addictions for years. That's some serious stuff. Like, I have been smoking since I was like 16. 
back in high school in the back of the classroom people bringing in these vape with salt nick type 25 milligrams of nicotine and then you hit that joint once you practically dying straight buzzed beyond belief well since i was 16 years old so you think 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 that's seven years straight it's always been in my system and there's fog so i'm gonna go ahead and turn off the cruise control but anyway seven years of just just this addictive chemical that's constantly in my body of course it's gonna be a fight to quit there's people who've been smoking way longer than i have you know and they probably feel the same way that i did at the time which is that oh it's not gonna be possible it's the it's the hardest thing it's the hardest thing to quit you know what i'm saying like i i need it i need this or they'll justify it. Oh, well, you know, it's my body, my choice type, you know. <laughs> yeah, I can figure out where I got that one from. But, you know, my body, my choice. You know, I'm going to do it if I want to. And in reality, this is the thing with people. People are afraid of discomfort. They don't want to be uncomfortable. The reason most people will not quit smoking. I ain't even going to say most, but the reason a lot of people will not even try to quit smoking is the same reason everybody comes out here OTR and looks after a couple years wants to go home wants to find a local job you know how many people I've heard say oh you know I, I, I just want to do a year or two and I want to go back and, and give me another little daycare situation tight whatever because they want to be at home because they want to be comfortable one sleep in their own bed and two they want to be home to earn the money and then stunt with it on the weekends type stuff that's it, it's the same reason you are afraid of discomfort and if you want to succeed at anything in life you have to be comfortable with being uncomfortable I have no regrets about the fact I quit that none it has done nothing but positivity on my mind and my body now that I'm, I'm able to fight it now the reason I'm talking about it now is because you know, I have a following of a lot of truckers of people who aspire to be truckers. So I'm going to assume a good percentage of the people, the 700 of y'all who are subscribed to me, smoke. Whether it's cigarettes or y'all on, on the, uh, 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 the the freaking the vape. You know what I'm saying? I met a guy who smoked blacks. You know, and you know, I smoke cigars and stuff like that occasionally. You know, I could count on one hand the number of cigars I might enjoy in a year. I've done that since I was, what, 18? As soon as I turned 21, the law changed, and now you gotta be 21, so like, I never felt it, but, I love, you know, smoking cigars is a cool thing. Sometimes you wanna relax, have some scotch tight, and, and puff on something, and that's cool. But look, I'm not here to tell you you should quit smoking cigarettes. I'm not here to tell you you should quit vaping or none of that. I'm not your dad, nor do I wanna be. What I will tell you is if you have thought about it and you feel like it'll be the hardest thing ever, if you can make it seven days without it, you won't crave it. You'll be done. You won't crave the nicotine. The worst part is just fighting off the world fixation and there are ways to distract yourself from that. I chew gum for a little bit you know, because I hadn't chewed gum in like two years. I started doing that again. After that second week, you know, I wasn't even chewing that no more. I still got the pack sitting right here. You know what I'm saying? I might grab a piece here and there, you know, boom, bang. Chew like one every couple of days or whatever. But I don't crave that. Give yourself a chance. That's basically what I'm saying. I'm not telling you to quit, but I will say there's nothing wrong with trying. I did it, I've done it, one month strong. Might not seem like a big deal, but hey man, I, like I said, I've been doing it for seven years, so going a month without it, and still going, is an accomplishment. An accomplishment, I can't speak, I've been driving all night, but it's an accomplishment, big or small. I'm doing it, you could do it too.
And that's all I had to say about that. I got 46 miles to my delivery, so you know, we're gonna do our thug diesel. Hopefully they accept this load because it's running late because the shipper would not let me leave because the load was 20 degrees out of range and the sun was too hot for the trailer to cool off. So I had to wait for the sun to go down for it to actually cool to the temp it needed to be. And now I'm late. So it is what it is. As I always tell you guys, be happy, stay blessed, do not be afraid to make drastic changes in your life. It might end up being the best decision you ever made. I am one and only Gold Phoenix. And I'm out. Also, quick bonus clip for you guys. I have solved one of my biggest problems with this Peterbilt, which is the fact that the way it is spec, I could only fit a 24 inch TV in here. Right. So if you get a 579, you have two options, right? You either have the window over here or you don't. If you don't have the window, there's a bigger TV mount in the, the center of it. You could fit a 32 on here, but because this one is so close to this wall right here, the biggest size you could fit on that mount is a 24. So what I did is I took this, right? Went to Walmart bought like assorted screws and all that stuff you see how it's screwed in with the nuts and all that holding it in and then this is just a flat mount I think this thing goes anywhere between like 19 and 50 inches or some something crazy like that's by a brand called on o n n paid like 20 something bucks for it whatever right so what I'm gonna do is screw this back onto the wall over here and then hang this 32 up bam you guys see how that worked sturdy it's on there not going anywhere but this part right here this section like from here over is pretty much what i'm concerned with this clicks into place so once i put it on there it shouldn't move at all so i got everything plugged in i have this little module stuck to the back that's from my wee boost just to keep that out of the way hdmi is plugged in power is all plugged in moment of truth right Yep. Y'all go ahead and applaud my brilliance. But anyway, that's it for that. So, 32 inch TV in the Peterbilt. Didn't think it was possible. Got it done. So, hopefully that helps anybody. Anyway, y'all stay blessed. Video's over.